Hi, my name is Rupa Naik. In my proposed idea today, I wish to offer a solution to one of the major concerns in cities of the developing countries and also of the developed countries and that is insufficient garbage and sewage treatment facilities which is either due to land constraints or lack of modern technology. My proposal is to install an integrated sewage and garbage treatment plant on board a ship. This will help coastal cities where large population currently resides uh, to treat their garbage and sewage in an environmentally friendly manner. The sewage and garbage will be collected on shore and when the ship arrives at port, it will be loaded onto the ship. Garbage sorting will be automated. The integrated treatment system on board will treat the biodegradable waste and convert it to biofuel that could be used to power the ship or supplied back to shore to fuel city buses. Plastic, metal, glass, air, it could be shipped to any recycling plant on shore. Same approach applies to the sewage as well. The integrated uh, treatment system on board will treat the sewage and the water generated from it could be supplied back on shore to water city gardens or used by industrial units or at construction sites, basically for anything other than human consumption. The sludge generated from the treatment can be used as a manure in agriculture. Now, the advantage of using a ship is that since it is a sailing ship, it can cater to the needs of adjoining cities along the coastline. So we can eliminate the need for having more land-based treatment facilities. As the cities expand, the need for space and waste management will also be more. The motivation for this idea comes from my home state of Goa on the west coast of India where today land-based uh, garbage and sewage treatment is a concern. My proposed solution of integrated garbage and sewage treatment plant could be implemented in any coastal city and could be of particular uh, interest to the many small island countries in the world. Now this was the primary purpose of the ship. The secondary purpose of the ship could be uh, to use it for training and research. In the accommodation area, there will be classrooms to be used by school or college students on study tour. That is a short visit when the ship is in port. And the ship would provide them with a, a place to learn basics of science and engineering in a practical environment. Maybe young women who come on these uh, study tours could find motivation to take up career in maritime sector. Uh, there will be a research laboratory on board to facilitate uh, marine uh, researches. Uh, the researchers could uh, uh, collect seawater samples for research when the ship sails to another city. Institutions conducting STCW courses could use uh, this ship to conduct practical training sessions, for example, basic safety training, elementary first aid, and conducting training in practical environment will add more value to learning. My proposal also aims to meet the global sustainable development goals set up by the United Nations, such as clean water and sanitation, sustainable cities and communities, good health and well-being, affordable and clean energy, quality education, and life on land. Thank you for listening. I believe that my idea is feasible in solving some of the problems we face today in our society. I wish to get a chance to speak about it when we meet at No Shipping. Thank you.